You're beautiful, you know. The way you waltz into hospital rooms and suddenly sit on the side of their beds, run your bony fingers through the hairs of the sick with a crescent moon on your face that could brighten the entire room. Because that is what killers do. My name is Agnes Sigoji. I'm 15 and I was born in Lagos, Nigeria. I go to the John D. O'Brien School of Mathematics and Science, but I'm really interested in just arts and any form of art I just find really interesting. Cancer, you have a face of destruction. You have corruption running through your veins. Do you remember how I caught you hanging on to my grandmother's breast? You slither through bones and hug our most valuable organs. You love to change the forest of our hair into barren soil. Cancer, you tell the most wonderful stories. Tell me about the time that you developed in my aunt's ovaries or about your visits to the children's hospital. I always forget how those ones end. Once you hear like the name O'Brien, you think of all, like, all the mathematics, all the engineering that we have, all the great athletes that are here, but you never actually hear about the artists. Like the artists that walk in the hallways, it's kind of like they have a mask over their face. The writer's room is a place for them to just remove their mask and just show who they really are. Cancer, you are a musician. You play the proud bass with our ribs, the gentle harp with our spines, the steel drums with our hip bones. You play an orchestra with our bodies. Louder Than a Bomb is a competition for slam poets where they go and they recite the poems that they have written and they go against other teams or in the state. This is my first time going to perform and I'm really shaky, I'm afraid, but I know that with my team of poets, if we like stick together and if we're, we work together as a team, we will slay. Yeah. <laughs> Cancer, you can invade through the blood but not through the spirit cancer. You can conquer an organism, but you can never conquer a soul. Being a writer to me means like that's my identity. Having a room just for writing, that means a lot to me really because I can read books here, I can meet other writers. If I want to come for like an essay that I'm working on in class, I know that they will help me. It's just amazing for me to just have a place where I can be who I am, a writer. We will eradicate your name from every hospital room in the world. And the only big C word that you and I will know is conquered.